Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lita and today we're going to be doing an edition of what I like to call Washi Wednesday. So today, um, I live in New York City. I was uh, in a store called Kino Kunia where I picked up a few items. I went on a hunt today for coffee inspired washi tape and I didn't find any. <laughs> But I'm going to show you some washi tapes that I apparently couldn't resist buying over this past weekend. But I'm going to start with one that doesn't actually fit in my coffee theme, and that's these ones I'm holding in my fingers. Um, I bought a set of Jane Davenport washi tapes. There came five in the set. I already have this one. I use it rather frequently. How I use it is I usually will peel off and if you can see it's just uh, faces of uh, different women and I usually will peel a piece off and just put it down wherever into my journal. I'll peel it and I'll just take one and put it in there. Uh, there have been occasions where I may have run it across the top or bottom of my journal but usually what I do is I take one and I put it in there. But um, I had a 50% coupon off and I was when I was in Michael's this weekend, so I picked up a whole new pack because I know I use this one all the time and it's uh, more than halfway used. For example, here is a good example of how you can see how thick it usually is and I'm more than halfway down. You see how much white there is? And there's very little amount of white left in here. So I love this one. So I didn't hesitate at all to buy the whole set. I left the other one over in Long Island. But this one is a bunch of women. And this one was like where there was ink spots and then she drew the head and legs above it. And I kind of liked that too. I thought, oh, you know, when uh, Fashion Week comes along, this will be fun to use. And I thought this might be good for um, this winter months, these muted type of colors. So um, I showed this in my November setup that these were little cards that I had made that I might use um, this month. This one for sure, because uh, this one has, I don't know, like writing and script and I don't know, the brown colors just looked really good to go with the coffee theme and I'm already using it in my setup for November, which I need to add a little kitty cat to. I have a sniffle, so I'm sorry. I don't have a tissue there. Here's, I'm using this one too, and this one to hold down my envelope. But I'm really looking for some more coffee-inspired washies. And I was stopped at the Starbucks on the way home, and I said, ooh, look, coffee cups. I said, I'm going to pick these up so that when I get my coffee-inspired ephemera washies, because I've ordered some from Our Atelier, and when those come in, I'll do an unboxing or a washi Wednesday type of thing or an unboxing. But for today, these are what I have. And I am going to make some little cards with, I think I will use this blue and this cute sunglasses one to make washi cards from this. And I really like, well, I didn't bring, I left this and this out in Long Island, my washi cards. So I'm going to use this to hold these three will fit on there. I think I'll do that. I'll put these three onto here. And I also have a washi that I found in Kino Kunia today when I was attempting, since I didn't find any coffee inspired washi tape at Michael's uh, over the weekend. I said on my way home, I would stop at Kino Kunia uh, over on 42nd Street in Manhattan to look for washi tape. And I didn't find any coffee inspired washi tape again. I was like, what is going on here? But I found this gorgeous um, 
washi tape that I will 100% use the heck out of. It has musical, the, the yellow that you see in the background here, it has like musical instruments like a French horn and it has my cello and it has saxophone and musical notes, etc, etc. So I am 100% definitely going to be using this. I'll put a link to this company. I've never bought a uh, from them. Well, I bought from Kino Kunia, but I've never bought from this manufacturer. It's called Clothespin. Um, it's made in China, um, but the it says made in China, but the company that manufactures this it says that or that sells this it has a JP like Japan type of address clothespin.co.jp I'm pretty sure that stands for Japan so I am going to take a page from my journal I was journaling today yesterday today and we will washy these out do a little let's see if we can get it going to show you these so this is Jane's little women that is the little women this is little color splotches like that. These ones are also like little women that were drawn on color splotches. I love Jane Davenport. You know, she just has this way. I love her way of making you feel that there is no wrong. That everything is just fine to do to start and to let go, she really has helped me embrace um, art again as an adult. God, I love these little women. I don't know what it is, but I just do. I love, I love these. I love putting these little women on my pages. I usually will do just one, and I'll stick her somewhere randomly. <laughs> I really love them. They make you happy, and things make you happy. You should embrace it and use it do it everything doesn't have to be drawn by you by hand i do plenty of writing i love writing i've gotten into not really oh man i can't find the start of this one here we go and this one this is the one that i said had the muted colors i could see this going really well for this month so these are my washies this is my jane davenport set one, two, three, four, five. And then, oh, I'm not going to wash you this out. This is my days of the week. What is today? It's Monday. I can't believe I left yet again another washi card at um, out in Long Island. What I usually do with this one, I'm sure you've seen it. If you watch some of my other ones, you'll see that what I do is I will take this and put this up here. I do it this way. This, if I could get it started well. Okay, here we go. And I'll just put a couple of days. What did I say today is? Today's today's Monday. I need Monday. <laughs> this is how we do. It's crazy. And we just go like this and we put Monday on there and it's great because now I've got Tuesday for tomorrow and I just put like a whole week of them on here you see like that so I've got one week's worth and sometimes I'll put more or I'll make another row on top of but for right now we'll leave it with this one and 
I think I also want to add this. And I gotta have some of my ladies. Did I say, did these all fit? No, they don't all fit. So I have to make choices. I think I'm gonna end up, I need some of my women. The women must come along with me. I'll have to make that decision later. I'm gonna put some of this washi onto here for later. I'll decide later on which goes on which of these. I think the Jane Davenport's are gonna go on these two. And let's make a strip of the last one. This is the musical one. Let's see, and there's my cello right there. Oh, I'm so happy. So this is the last one that I picked up. Oh, there's two cellos. There's another one. Maybe that's a bass. Okay, there. I love it. So these are my washies, and then I did pick up two pens. I picked up a Signo a Uniball in brown at Kino Kunia. What number is this? It's a point thirty-eight uh, UM151. And this is my Signo. What did I say today? Was it? New washi. Okay. And I used to have a brown in Le Pen. Oh, I wrote new washi, but this is my brown signal. Point three eight, and this is my brown Le Pen. And when I bought these, what I thought was actually is like um, that I could go and make coffee theme. Go like this and draw little coffee beans down here. But I was like, I was doing it when I was inside Kino Kunia that I was drawing little coffee beans and I was so tempted to buy some Tombos. And then I was like, control yourself, Lita, don't do it. Resist. <laughs> and I thought, let me go home first and see what browns I have. And those were, those were my Tombos. And then the famous Crayolas. Here's some browns and Crayolas. And I already looked when I got home earlier, so they're kind of a little bit grouped together. So I keep them in these little tins. Um, so I realized, as you can see, I have quite a few and I don't need to really go and probably buy more because I also have these two I just bought, plus I have some other different types of browns. But I was very tempted. It was hard to resist. Yeah, this is how I keep my pens, is in my little tins. And I already have my brown here. And I have my browns out in my micros. Oh, what is this one? No, this is more like, well, it is kind of a brown. It's like a brick. No, no, this is a red. I'm pretty sure this is a red. This is, it just looks a little bit, it's like a burgundy, so it's kind of in that brown family, but not, so you could see it. Next to this one, much, much redder, but still very nice, right? That's it for my browns, I think. That's orange or red, yeah. And I have two more sets of pens I want to look through. Let me see if I got all my browns out. Yeah. No, no brown in there. One more. No. Looking through here. I'm glad I brought that. I bought that Le Pen. I had a feeling. See, I used to have a brown Le Pen like this. And I apparently lost it or maybe dry, it dried out or something happened to it. 
I gotta take this off. That's gonna drive me crazy. But um, I'm so I'm glad I bought this because I did need it. It turns out I did need it. And let's see. I will take this sticker and stuff off on my own later. But it's got to go. It's got to come off. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna draw a little coffee beans along the bottom here but I think I can do it better probably with some little um, brushes. What I'll do is I'll draw little blocks like that and then I'll take my the pen and just kind of go around the outside, around the outsides of them, around the outsides, and I will try to use maybe like this. And you know how on the center of the coffee bean there's kind of like that little part that comes in is lighter inside there and I can darken it up a little so I'll draw little coffee beans on my own and doodle that's like a really awesome thing to do to doodle something that doesn't have to be perfect like that on uh, the subway in the morning so I'm gonna leave these out because I'm going to add my washi tapes onto there I will decide because I'm having trouble making executive decision at the moment and I think for here on my little washi page, I want to find another little coffee type sticker to use. These are my little coffee washi tapes. And I'll find a smaller one. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. I did order online. Let's see this. I'll keep it right over here. I'll put it in there, this little washi. So um, I ordered online, I had a feeling, I, I haven't gone to, I ordered online some coffee inspired washies because I had a, a feeling I might have trouble finding something. So I will finish in this area when I have leisure time that I will do doodles of coffees, of coffee. Maybe I should put this over here on this side and then doodle coffee beans all along this way. What do you think of that? One thing is that the washi tape is usually pretty easy to remove, but I've noticed with the Stalogy, the paper is so thin that I feel like I have to be a little more careful. It's a little harder to peel and stick and replace it. So I'll leave this coffee pot thing over on this side and I will doodle coffee beans all along in here. So I will leave these out and I will use these for um, holding my pens for now so I can doodle at my desk. And I may put some of these into my bag and take out some of the other ones. And when my newer washi tapes come in, we'll do another Washi Wednesday and I will show you all the goodies that have arrived and I will swatch them out for you. But for now, that is all that I have. Wherever this meets you at, I wish you well. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night. Remember to hit uh, the like button if you like. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more washi wednesdays or journal with me and at the end of month i'll also do a november flip through to go through my i've already updated my setup a little bit but i will do a flip through of november and also i'm going to be doing some video blogging of various stationery stores um, in new york city so subscribe if you are interested in that type of content. And again, I wish you well. Bye friends.